Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up an Apple SuperDrive CD burner on your Windows computer. There are a lot of people that do like some Apple products and some of them will actually work on your Windows computer. One of which is being this SuperDrive. Now I do have underneath it an Asus CD burner, which I've had for a long time. I paid like 20 bucks for it at a pawn shop and it's tray load, which well, they have their good and bad points, as we all know, right? And, of course, quality points. Um, Apple has definitely got top-notch quality when it comes to their products, okay? And this is just another prime example. Now, with the Apple SuperDrive, if you just plug it in, even though it is compatible, don't expect it to work because it's not going to suck in the CD. You have to actually put in drivers, but how and where do you get these drivers, you might ask. You have to go to Apple's website and download the bootcamp drivers. I'm using the Catalina bootcamp drivers, um, and I've got the stick in the drive, in the slot. So I'm going to show you, when you go in to your drive here, you're going to go into bootcamp, okay? That's the folder you want. And in this folder, you're going to also go into drivers, okay? You don't need to run the setup program because you're not putting in all the stuff that you would like if you ran boot camp on an intel mac you have to have this stick in order so that windows recognizes all your apple hardware though it still fails to apple it still fails to recognize the apple trackpad on your laptop fully so you're going to have limited use or you have full use under the mac os kind of stupid did this with trackpad too. I installed the trackpad drivers from this to try and get my Apple trackpad to work on this. Same BS, even on a real PC. So, but the super drive on the other hand, that's a whole other story. So we're going to go into the Apple folder and we're going to find where it talks about the CD, which is the ODD installer 64. Okay. This one, you're going to drag to your desktop and copy it over and you're going to install that and it's going to put you through some prompts just follow the prompts do the agree blah 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 when you're done you don't have to reboot your computer now your cd-rom is automatically recognized in windows okay when before you even put these drivers in it's there but there's not enough power going to the drive to activate the drive to be usable you need the driver for that and the driver turns on the bus so that it says, okay, I'm ready to go. So then you take your CD and you push it in and it sucks it in. And eventually it's going to come up on screen here. Like any CD-ROM, it takes a little bit of time to read the CD, right? <coughs> but once it does, you can make use of the Apple CD burner and boom. And now we can install Photoshop 7.0 if we want to. No problem. That's simple. Now, you'll note that the Apple CD burners do not have eject buttons anywhere. So, what do you do to get your CD back? you got to right-click it, and you select eject. Or figure out what command key on your keyboard would work to do the same thing. Now, I have a Logitech keyboard here, which I have not tried this button, so let's give it a shot. So, we'll let it read it in again. Okay, now this is our eject button here for the Mac. Will it work for the CD on the PC? Push and hold. We get no response. So there may be another key that may work. Try your function keys. Hold down your, your key for function, which would be on your Windows keyboard. Try one of your function keys. See if that gets you through. May or may not work likelihood it's not going to work because all these function keys up here are already pre-programmed to do a job and one of them is definitely not for ejecting a cd so we likely don't have a key command so we just right click and we select eject now there are a lot of mac users that have pcs that don't have a cd-rom built in because optical drives are pretty much non-existent anymore uh, in windows computers so but we still need access to a cd um, and from time to time and this is a great way to do it 
if you already have an Apple CD-ROM, it will work on your Windows computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, no difference. Just install that Apple driver. It will activate everything else that you need to for the CD-ROM to be fully functional. Now, I also add one other note in here. You cannot run the Apple Super Drive off of a USB hub of any sort. It does not work. I have tried this many times. I even have a hub with four amps worth of juice and it's still, there's no way it is going to work. It doesn't, it's not about the amperage. It's not about anything else. It's about the driver support and driver support. If I plug my super drive into the back of my mini works perfect. If I plug it into a hub does not work. Okay. Going direct into the PC, it gives me the same response as a Mac would into a hub, except this is not a hub. This is a computer. So it should just automatically go because it recognizes, but it needs the driver. It needs the driver to say, hey, you're going to insert and eject. Okay. And that's what it needs to do. So you need that driver from the boot camp USB installer. So you're going to have to make that installer on your computer. Then you open it up as per what I showed you. You open up the drive first, go to boot camp, go to drivers, go to Apple and find that ODD installer. You can click it right off the USB stick if you want or copy it to your computer, it doesn't matter. I've got it copied to my computer uh, because what I want to do is I want to do a copy and of course I want to have this as just a backup in my computer uh, so that next time I go and reinstall I don't have to hunt around for the driver. So I can just copy paste, show options, paste, and now I have a copy on my computer. So now I can delete this and that's it. So now I have it on my dump drive. So if I want to use my Apple CD-ROM again, next time I reload my computer, I've already got that driver. I don't even need the stick again. So that's how you install and set up an Apple Super Drive onto a Windows computer. Like I said, PC laptop, PC desktop, does not matter. It, it works on both sides. I've had this thing working on my PC tower that I used to have because it's like, I don't have a ROM. And I finally did buy an internal ROM for it, which was kind of like stupid because I already had this, right? So it's like, but eh, I wanted the push button part. Um, now, when you're installing games that ask for the next disc and so on, um, you have to kind of like flip backwards and go back in and right click to eject. Um, then you can put your next next disc in, go back to your installer, click OK. A little inconvenient, but it actually works, you know. And you can pick these things up, like used for like, you know, $20 to $50, okay, on the used market. You don't have to buy a brand new one for 100 bucks. It's just, you know, unless you want to or you can't find one that's used, but you want the Apple burner. Um, but if you already have it, then you already have a burner. You don't have to go out and buy one for your PC. You've already got it. You just got to install that bootcamp driver and away you go. Thanks for watching. Check you in the next video.